springtime is the ultimate time of the year to see ulcer disease in koi and pond fish. Uh, the primary reasons are deteriorated water quality, not deteriorating. If anything, water quality is slightly improving in the spring because the water temperatures are getting a little bit higher. Um, but during the winter, water quality has a tendency to deteriorate because people are less likely to have done water changes or water replacement during the winter. A lot of ponds have a lot of leaf litter at the bottom that fell in during the fall and has spent the winter getting soft and starting to decay. And um, people aren't paying attention to the water quality, so in many instances, pH is low as we go into springtime. And uh, any of the leaf litter that's been at the bottom of a pond has uh, leached a lot of tannins or the tea color into water. Uh, in particular, pine straw does that. And that tea color uh, is significant in uh, inhibiting healing. Um, so any sores or uh, scratches or anything that the fish get on them in the springtime have a tendency, greater tendency to infect and or not to heal in tannin rich water. Um, if you got fish last year during the middle of the summer or later when the water was warm, a lot of times they'll come in with parasites if you didn't quarantine them or treat them empirically. And these parasites don't hurt the fish as much during the summer when their immune system is all up. So you really don't know you have a problem until the fish go to sleep for the winter. And then in the spring, when the water temperatures start to come up, these parasites activate against fish that are cold with minimal immune system. And then all of a sudden the parasites are an actor with the question being, where did they come from? Well, they came in last year on unquarantined fish. So that in a real short um, couple of sentences is an overview of ulcer disease in koi. It's uh, winter suppression of the immune system. It's the fish haven't eaten in a while. It's deteriorated water quality and chilling. It's parasites that might be coming up in the spring. And then body abrasions that occur that um, just have hard time healing in cold water, especially with deteriorated water quality. Um, so the, um, I guess the next thing is to try to get those fish better. Um, you know, if the water is still pretty cold, but not freezing, um, sometimes just cleaning the pond out helps a lot. If the pond has been neglected for the winter or even longer, like uh, sometimes folks have ponds that need a clean out on the annual and they don't do that for whatever reason they forget or they're trying to save a buck or whatever and they neglect the the actual ecosystem, um, they kind of, that's a mistake uh, because spring is hard for folks, uh, for fish living in unsanitary environments. So it's not a bad idea if the water's still nice and cool to pull the fish out, believe it or not. Uh, don't carry them in the net. Just scoop, uh, scoop them up with a net and then use a bowl or a shallow bucket to move them into a, a holding facility on the edge of the pond covered and, uh, and then clean out the facility. Don't clean it out too hard because there's a beneficial bacteria that live in the gravel, on the gravel, on the, the plant material. Um, and you don't want to sterilize out that beneficial bacteria. I've seen people, uh, sometimes it's demanded, but I've seen people doing clean outs and pressure wash everything. They want it to look just like when they first put it in. And that's a huge setback to the biofilm. Uh, the biofilm is a layer of slimy, beneficial bacteria that keep your water purified and clear. And if you uh, decimate that biofilm, you're going to go through a whole brand new cycle of water clarifying and nitrogen breakdown and, and the whole thing. It's uh, kind of a thing. Um, so maybe if you're dealing with bacterial ulcer disease in the spring, it's not a bad idea if, if, you, if you're supposed to is uh, clean out the pond. Um, Diagnose or treat concurrent parasitism. You could do two things. You could uh, find somebody in a local club, 
uh, koi club or something, uh, aquarium society, whatever, or even a biology teacher uh, that you might know, veterinarian, who could uh, come out and take biopsies of the surface of the fish.